So I hope you enjoyed part 1 of my prediction for what Toyota will offer for the 2022 new generation Tundra. I went through the basic overview of what trims, features and which models Toyota will offer and uh, in part 2 I wanted to give you a bit more detail that I could not finish off in part 1. So if you recall in my uh, part 1 episode I talked about the basic model lineup. I mentioned that um, more than likely, with about 95% accuracy, I predict Toyota will offer the SR, which is the base model, the SR5, which is 1UP, and that includes the TRD Sport and TRD Off-Road models, then the Limited and the Platinum, which is the highest uh, level of trim. Um, but uh, I also said the TRD Pro and the 1794 edition will not be offered in the 2022 Tundra, uh, at least in the first year. And the reason for that, as I mentioned previously, is simply because Toyota usually withhold and hold back special edition models until the second or third year of its life cycle. So I don't expect Toyota will offer the TRD Pro uh, probably until one year after the first launch of the new generation Tundra for 2022. Um, as for 1794 edition, I don't expect Toyota to bring that at all because the 1794 edition was never very popular and in many ways it looks kind of outdated. It's sort of uh, based on the old fashion design and features and so I really don't think they will bring the 1794 edition back. So again, as a summary for the new generation 2022 Tundra, I fully expect Toyota to offer the SR, SR5, Limited, and Platinum, and then probably one year later, uh, TRD Pro. Um, now, people did also ask about the Nightshade model, and that uh, model is new. We very recently introduced to the 2021 Tundra, um, but that version I can almost guarantee will also not be offered in the new version 2022. Again, not in the first year. I expect the Nightshade version to come a bit later in the life cycle, even after the TRD Pro. So it will be the TRD Pro that will come out one year after the first introduction of the Tundra, which is this fall. And then I expect the Nightshade to come out two years later. So those are some of the possible options. So let me walk you through though, by walking into this limited section and give you a bit more detail. So in the um, limited category, uh, currently in the 2021 Tundra, um, they offer both the 6.5 foot standard bed and the 5.5 foot short bed because one is a double cab, which is uh, essentially, um, it's still a four door, but the back uh, rear doors are shorter and uh, much smaller. Uh, and the more popular Crew Max, which has the four full size proper doors. Most people go for Crew Max. I still expect uh, Toyota to offer a double cab version uh, when the new one comes out this fall, but as most of us know, um, people generally speaking go for the Crew Max. So if I were to pick Crew Max here and go to the next step, uh, there's only one engine offered here. I, I mentioned already previously that um, the next generation Tundra should have and this is almost a certain certainty, uh, a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine uh, borrowed from the Lexus lineup. Now people have been asking me about the hybrid. Again, the hybrid being a specialized, more limited edition model, it will not come out this fall. It's going to be at least one year later, possibly even two years. So uh, this fall, they're going to keep the lineup very simple and only offer several basic 
configuration. So let's keep on moving here. So we got, uh, so you'll be twin turbo V6. And then uh, I talked about the color already in the last uh, uh, episode. So I'll skip through the color here. And so this will bring me to the feature and option list. Very interesting the way uh, Toyota does this in the US because they offer a number of packages to go with the limited. If you're a Canadian uh, listening to or watching, watching this, you'll recognize that in Canada, there's only one limited model and there isn't additional options that you can add. But here in the US, you've got quite a few different options. So there's one uh, premium package for $1,000, then another one with for $1,155, and higher uh, options for $1,850, and so forth, so forth. So I expect Toyota will likely um, consolidate this in the 2022 Tundra and most, most likely will only offer maybe two options, not so many options. In the beginning, they always keep it very simple. I already mentioned that uh, the nightshade version will not be offered in the first year. I can almost guarantee you that. Um, but uh, yeah, if you keep on scrolling here, the limited actually has many different options going right up to 2645. I don't think they will offer this many options uh, in the beginning. I think they will only offer two to three packages with a limited package and a, a limited uh, model, I mean, but uh, they won't offer nightshade. So that's pretty well it. Now, so now let me hit the accessories. But if you go to accessories, we've already gone through this um, in episode one. So I'm not gonna go through all of them again. So it uh, the new 2022 Tanja will offer all kinds of a variety of different options that's featured here that's all expected I went through this in episode one so now let's go back again to the um, lineup here I just went through a limited now let's take a look at the platinum I fully expect Toyota will introduce the platinum version with the 2022 Tundra. So let's move in here and see what they have. So again, we're looking at 2021 configurator here, and uh, I'm going to give you a really good, very accurate prediction as to what Toyota will do for the new 2022. So uh, if you notice here, platinum is only offered with the Crew Max with a five and a half foot uh, short bed. That's gonna be exactly the same for 2022 Tundra. And then uh, it will be a V6 twin turbo engine, as I mentioned, with a hybrid at a later at a later stage in life cycle. Uh, and uh, I went through color here um, previously with the uh, SR5 model, but here under the platinum, the color is much more limited. You just don't get the same range of the color you had in the SR5 models. And so all of the blues were, were actually gone and not even army green is offered. Uh, but um, you've got the basic lineup uh, of colors here. Uh, the only unusual color here in the platinum is the um, smoked uh, mesquite, mesquite. And this is kind of like a brownish color. I, I'm almost certain they will drop this color for the platinum model. Again, not very popular at all. I think it's less than 5% of the buyer opted for this. And they might replace this with something something else. Perhaps, who knows, maybe even a Lunar Rock color, which is the TRD Pro color for 2021. Um, so now looking at the packages, they only offer a few packages here. So most likely the 2022 Platinum will offer a similar option. I'm not sure why Toyota even bother offering these two options. You might as well just make everything standard. I think that would have been easier, uh, but I suspect they will offer maybe one or two options still. And then moving into accessory, we come back to the exact same scenario as other uh, Tundra models. And therefore these features or these uh, accessory, most of which are installed by the dealership are exactly identical. Now, even though Toyota will not offer TRD Pro in the first year of, um, of, the, of the new generation Tundra, I know lots of, uh, lots of people are so curious about what's happening with the TRD Pro that let me kind of walk you through the TRD Pro option here as well and just give you a glimpse of what to expect in the 2023 Tundra because the TRD Pro should appear at that time about two years from now on. So if I walk into the TRD Pro, right now it's offered in double cab with a longer bed and the Crew Max with a shorter bed. I can tell you right now, the double cab, with a, it's a really rare combination. Not very few people order that or get that at a dealership. So when they introduced the new Tundra 
with the new TRD Pro in about two years, I don't expect them to offer the double cab anymore. So when TRD Pro finally reaches a market, it will be a Crew Max with the shorter five and a half foot short bed. That's my prediction. So let's uh, keep on going here. So again, 3.5 liter uh, V6 engine. Now who knows when the TRD Pro shows up, that might be the time when um, the hybrid model might show up. The hybrid should have more power and torque than the standard 3.5 liter twin turbo uh, because you're going to um, bring together the engine and the motor and so together they should offer more power and so uh, in much the same way the RAV4 Prime has tremendous uh, total output because the RAV4 Prime is the fastest RAV4. In, in much the same way, the Tundra Hybrid will likely be the fastest Tundra. So I fully expect uh, as a potential um, feature, the new TRD Pro in the new generation format might be the one that will carry the hybrid model uh, because the combined power of the engine and the motor will give you immense acceleration. But that's uh, obviously yet to be yet to be determined. Now let's go into keep on moving here. Uh, the color is always interesting because uh, this is a guessing game every year with a TRD Pro as to what Toyota will offer in the uh, in terms of color color range. So this year in 2021, there was a the usual black and the magnetic gray, uh, the super white, and of course the new color this year is the lunar rock, and that's being actually really sought after color. For the 2022 new generation Tundra, we don't know what they're going to offer yet. But what I can say is that the black will still be offered. Black and white will still be offered. And I'm pretty sure Magnetic Gray, which hasn't been that popular, will still be offered. So I think these three will carry over to 2022. And the Lunar Rock will disappear because they never carry the same special color year after year on the Tundra TRD Pro. So Lunar Rock will disappear and the guessing game begins, of course, we have like more than, a, more than a year to decide or guess what that color might be. Lots of speculation as to what the new TRD Pro color will be. Uh, some people say it could be the orange or red, uh, it could be another variation of a blue uh, or green. What I can tell you is that Toyota already offered two variations of blue in the previous TRD Pro and then they switched over to Army Green then to Lunar Rock. Both of them are kind of like a green a green flavor or green color. So I can almost be 100% certain that they will not bring another blue back to the TRD Pro. Um, uh, and because they've gone through two years of a green or greenish color, I also do not think it's going to be a green color. So uh, it will be could be an all new color. I don't think you'll be an orange. That would be kind of weird. That's not a very popular color. Now, right now, the color that seems to be really in with the sports car, sports car fans is the yellow. And so, is that possible they could bring a yellow to the Tundra TRD Pro? Uh, very possible, although unlikely, just because that color as as as, in, as a whole isn't very popular. So, it's a bit of a guessing game. I'm going to take a, a, a guess to say that uh, the new color for the next generation TRD Pro will be some form of gray, because that's just a popular color these days. It could be something similar to Audi's Nardo gray, like a darker medium gray, uh, or it could be like a, a matte color. Who knows? They might do something weird like a matte color. So it's going to be really interesting, interesting to see what they will do. Uh, but uh, we've got about two years to figure that out. Now let's go into the packages here. And they do not offer any additional packages for the 21 Tundra TRD Pro. And so I do expect the same thing will happen for 2022 Tundra TRD Pro, or actually 2023, I should say. And they most likely won't offer any packages. Now, when you click on accessory, we're back to again, the exact same accessory as the rest of the lineup. So again, I won't go through this right now. And so that covers the TRD Pro. Again, that won't come out until about two years later. And so that uh, will take you through all of the models now. I went through the overall lineup, um, SR, SR5, Limited, Platinum. Uh, and I mentioned that uh, TRD Pro won't show up right away. 
and I'm pretty sure 1794 will be uh, discontinued and the nightshade will also not be brought back right away it could be about two years later so that uh, summarizes the lineup I'm going to in episode uh, 3 part 3 I'm going to talk about more details about the engine the powertrain and the transmission is that going to be 8 or 9 or 10 speed uh, how much power or torque the um, uh, the V6 twin turbo might produce and then what about things like tires and wheels would they carry the same tires uh, would they would the wheels be the same spec uh, and uh, that and, and so forth so those are things I will cover in part three thank you for watching and listening to part two of my prediction for the 2022 Tundra TRD Pro and I'll go through a little bit more detail so we'll continue to feed you as much information as I can about the next generation Tundra so that we can all look forward to this amazing truck that is going to come out in the next several months thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you soon and please stay connected